Urban Sustainability Forum is an ongoing discussion sponsored monthly by a coalition of organizations and government agencies with the goal of making Philadelphia the greenest, most livable city in the country. I'm very happy to be here at the beginning to um, this project to say to you that this is a very top priority for me. So I am Alex Good, the Executive Director of the Bicycle Coalition for Greater Philadelphia. And uh, the Bicycle Coalition is about trying to make your ride better. I wanted to talk a little bit about what the Bicycle Coalition is engaging in in Philadelphia. Bike share is an important part of making Philadelphia a more bike friendly city. But to make bike share successful, we need to have a bike friendly city. Our number one priority for 2008 for the Bicycle Coalition and for biking in Philadelphia is to have a bicycle pedestrian coordinator in the city government in the city of Philadelphia. And that's one of the campaign promises that Michael and I made. We are the only major city in the United States that does not have a bicycle pedestrian coordinator on staff. I'd say, what I've been trying to explain to people, you know, the concept and encouraging people to come to the forum, it's Philly Car Share for Bikes. But it's Philly Car Share for Bikes with the added bonus that you can go one way. And I think that's one of the keys to the system. It's about being able to pick up a bike at a station that's scattered all over the city and be able to go to another place and be able to, to drop it off. First, let me say uh, thank you very much uh, for the uh, wonderful invitation to spend a little time with you on uh, one of the most uh, important issues uh, that will affect the future of the city. Now, who would have thought that uh, from the time that uh, many of us were young that the two-wheeler uh, would ultimately become such a vital tool uh, in helping to stem the tide of global warming? Uh, I just thought it was a fun thing to ride around. I didn't realize that it was you know, making something important happen. Uh, what we're talking about is a relatively simple idea, on the one hand, uh, trading uh, cars uh, for our bikes. On the other hand, we know it's a very complicated uh, issue uh, and far more complex than just uh, doing that. You're going to hear about uh, many of these ideas at the forum tonight. <coughs> Let me talk about how these ideas, though, fit into some of the initiatives that I've talked about in the past and that we plan to implement uh, going forward. Sustainability. I believe that a sustainable city is a healthier city, it's more attractive, uh, in the end, uh, much more productive. Uh, our goal is to reduce the city's carbon footprint uh, by creating green buildings, changing our building code, and of course our zoning code, which is in the process of being changed, enhancing, improving, and better marketing our mass transportation system, as well as better supporting and ultimately increasing funding for our own beautiful Fairmount Park. Transportation, uh, hopefully you know that I've uh, appointed a deputy mayor for transportation and utilities because I recognize that transportation, not just mass transit, but all forms of transportation are critically important uh, to the economy of the city of Philadelphia uh, and have a direct impact on our prosperity uh, as we move forward across the street. <laughs> we talk about trading our gas guzzlers uh, for bicycles, uh, utilizing uh, some of the newest technology out and even with our cars uh, moving uh, to more of the hybrid uh, type vehicles. Bicycles, of course, relieve traffic congestion. They promote public health. A lot of healthy people riding around on bicycles these days. They lower household transportation costs, and there is no foul exhaust. In the last decade, Philadelphia has improved the 200 miles, uh, created 200 miles of bike lanes throughout the city, and many of our SEPTA buses also have bike racks. Again, creating a partnership uh, between the uh, cyclists and uh, mass transit uh, use. In the coming years, I plan to extend our bicycle network uh, and also create uh, additional opportunities for upgraded signage uh, and more bike lanes. Some of our colleges and university campuses have established painted bike programs using donated bikes. In Philadelphia, I think we have an opportunity to uh, do something far different. If we're going to meaningfully uh, reduce pollution and increase uh, the quality of life as well as reducing congestion in our city. And so let us be as creative as possible. Other cities have folded their public bike programs uh, into a broad contract for street furniture, trading advertising rights for capital improvements. I 
I'd like to hear your thoughts and suggestions and ideas. And I know you have many. And I know this uh, community uh, very well. We established today uh, a new website in anticipation of uh, this forum this evening. It's called Bikeshare at Phila.gov. Please utilize it. Send us your ideas. It will help us as we uh, try to develop plans and ideas for the future of Philadelphia. I think that bike sharing could lead to more people using transit. Because if you make transit more efficient, you make those, those uh, trips smaller. I don't think bike sharing is competing with transit. I think that if you have bike sharing, people are getting rid of cars. A third of Philadelphians don't own a car. And if we can increase that number, we can reduce the number of car trips. It's a pretty simple equation. The other thing that I love about like, getting more people to bike is that every time we get an additional person to bike, we make all of our rides safer. If we can double the number of people who ride on any particular street, we reduce the crash risk for each of us individually as a cyclist by a third. That's really a phenomenal statistic. I'm going to say it again. If you double the number of people who bike on Chestnut Street, we reduce the crash risk for each one of us riding on that street by a third. And the possibilities for bike sharing are really phenomenal. The statistic in my reading about this has really stood out, and I'm going to leave with you, is 10% of the population in Lyon has paid to subscribe to their bike sharing program. In the city of Philadelphia, that's 125,000 people. And if we could get that number of people, uh, the other statistic that I, that I just heard was that 96% of the people who are using the bikes in Lyon had not ridden a bike in the city before. So what we are talking about is bringing in a whole new group of people who are interested in biking, and I don't know how often you have this conversation, how often I have this conversation with people, are, I'd love to bike but. And this is part of taking away the butt. Uh, that's probably not the right way to put it. <laughs> <laughs>